Hi everybody, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. Today I am canning and I have two packs of meat in my pot right here. This is some kind of beef uh, stew meat and it takes a long time to boil and cook. Uh, normally when you can meat, you can can it raw, but I wanna cook this meat first to make sure it's gonna be very tender and I'm not gonna be canning the bones. So I wanna basically boil this and separate it from the bones, but I want everything to boil and cook together so that, uh, you know, I can get the flavor in the meat of the bones. And I'm also gonna can my broth from this with the meat as well. So basically I'm about to clean this meat and so put it on the stove. Know, I live in a van and I'm cooking in my van. So actually I'm gonna take this water and I'm going to rinse this meat off. And then I'm gonna go fill my water bottles up and go get some more water to boil my meat with. But oh, I'm making a mess. That's why I wanted to go to a campsite and cook this uh, so I could just be out at the campsite, put everything out on the table and just be able to be more organized. But we're doing what we doing. We doing what we doing, where we could do it at. I didn't really want to spend the extra money to go to a campsite, even though it would have been convenient. I'm trying to save money for going out of town on this trip right now. I'm just rinsing off the meat. And then I'm gonna uh, put some more water in it. So let me go. Okay, so out. I just came back from getting some water in here and emptying the water out of my meat. And I am going to just pour this thing of water on here and that is enough it's covering the top of my meat i'm gonna add more water as this cooks so let me show you that the water is above the top of the meat but i want to leave enough room where it won't overflow because i am going to put a lid on here and i'm going to add my seasonings in here as well so my typical seasonings are black pepper I'm just gonna pour that in there it's gonna make me sneeze y'all I'm already having allergy problems I'm gonna be generous with my seasonings because it's a lot of meat up in there and I'm gonna be generous with my salt as well and parsley my typical seasonings are salt pepper and parsley i'm pouring all the parsley in there i like a lot of parsley and i'm also going to pour some this is obey seasoning we're just going to pour that in there we want to be this to be seasoned well i'm about to start sneezing and i'm just going to put this on the fire and let this boil y'all these gizzards have yellow on them 
I have never seen gizzards with yellow on them like that, but a lot of my subscribers were telling me I'm wasting food and it just peels off. So that's the only reason why I'm keeping them because I can peel the yellow off, but I am 54 years old. I have been eating gizzards since I was a little girl and I have never seen yellow on gizzards like this before in my life. And some of these people in my chat making me <laughs> try to make it seem like something wrong with me because I've never seen yellow on gizzards like that before. But y'all leave in the comments bar below if y'all ever seen yellow on gizzards like that before because I have not. They charging us more for food and making us work. Maybe they normally peel it off. But they charging us more for food and then, then they making us work for it too. So, so y'all, I rinsed off the gizzards. No more yellow. And I'm about to put some water in here and season them and boil. Guys, yeah, so I'm out at the park canning today. And I have all of these jars that are empty that we're going to put meat in over the course of the next few days so I could travel with meat with me. But I'm gonna clean out all of these jars. I have some dish soap we're gonna put up in here. And I'm also gonna pour some vinegar in here because you wanna make sure your jars are sterile and they're real good. So I'm gonna put some vinegar in my dishwater and I'm also gonna put some vinegar in my rinse water. And so I'm gonna pour my water in here and get to washing. Y'all, all this sneezing. Up, guys. <laughs> okay you guys so the next step of my canning I already uh, cleaned my jars so the next step I want to cut some onion and some garlic I do have an onion chopper but I really don't feel like going back outside and getting it and being bothered with it because my allergies are really cutting up right now. So every time I go outside, I'm sneezing about 20 times. So I'm gonna show y'all how I slice my onion. Very easy, simple. I go halfway this way, turn it around. That way you ain't got to worry about cutting your fingers. And halfway that way. Halfway this way. halfway that way and I'm gonna finish doing the rest okay y'all so these are the gizzards I'm gonna take a lot of onion and put it inside the gizzards And I'm also going to take some uh, garlic once I peel it, but I'm going to cover that back up. And I have my beef over here. And I am going to put some onions in there as well. Okay, y'all. So I have my garlic all. This is just one clove of garlic. 
I think this is going to be enough to divide between the two pots, even though I really want my meat to be seasoned. But I got another clove of garlic, and I still got more meat to cook tomorrow. So I think I'm going to save that and put this up in here. And I have some ginger. I might even cut some ginger up in here. I don't know. My friend be putting... Since I introduced my friend to Ginger, and she's seen all the benefits of it, yeah, she be cooking with whole pieces of Ginger in her pot of food. So, I'm gonna take this and put this in the pot. Okay, so y'all, I got this like this, and I'm going to take my garlic, and put this in here. This is my first time cooking my meat before I can it. But that's because I got some meat that I think is a little tougher and I really want it to be really, 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 really tender. So I'm gonna do the same thing and put garlic in there as well. Okay, you guys, I am through cooking the gizzards. Oh, this is the beef right here. This is the beef, not the gizzards. And I just got through tasting some. It was so good. Let me show it to y'all. It is seasoned to perfection. Uh, it's falling off the bones. That's good because I'm going to use the bones to make a bone broth and it's just mm. and them two bags cooked down so I need like four bags. Y'all excuse the angles and everything because I live in a van and Y'all, this was perfect. The amount of fat was perfect. The juice was perfect. The seasoning was perfect. I love this meat. Uh, I got a bone right there. I don't want to put any bones in here. I want all meat and broth and this meat is not gonna make that many jars so I'm actually gonna need some more of this meat I think tomorrow I'm going back to the store and because I can get any kind of meat anytime this meat is hard to find out of town and it's probably gonna be more expensive so I think I'm gonna spend my the rest of my $60 on this meat, y'all. I think I'm gonna buy $60 worth of this meat. Yep. And I already had cleaned my jars and wiped them off. And I'm gonna let this meat cool off in these jars before I put my lids on. And then tomorrow, I will can it. But, 
Look at all. Y'all can't see all that fat, y'all. Ooh. And that fat is so good. It's so yummy. I'm going to need to cook four packs of this meat tomorrow. I could probably buy five packs of this meat with $60. And I wanna put a lot of this juice up in here. This would be a good meal. On a cold winter's day. It's gonna be a good meal. Y'all look at that. Woo, child, all that seasoning up in there. All the seasoning. My jars are clean. I just put the lids on them to keep dust and debris from going in them. I think this is going to be my last. Of meat. I mean, this might be the last meat that I could scrape up to put up in this one. Anyway, y'all, uh, I ate and Eight and uh, we still got a little left. So I'm gonna fill this up. I'll be back. Now, these are the gizzards, and they are very tender. And I'm probably gonna fill up two of my jars with this okay so i'll see y'all in a little bit so y'all i'm just jarring up my gizzards i think i'm gonna get two jars of gizzards out of here and this will be a couple of meals for me open it up open up the jar eat a couple of times off of this that's going to make some good juice and broth in the morning for breakfast. So that was two packs of gizzards. And pretty much that makes two jars. Which when I open up one jar, that would be a couple of meals, y'all. And if I'm on the road... Got somebody to share it with. This would taste good over some rice, but y'all know I'm not eating rice. But that would taste good over some rice. I'm gonna let these cool off completely because they hot. Before I put my lids on them, they got to be cool. Cause tomorrow we're gonna put them in the canner.
This one's gonna be more bronze, but it's still a few gizzards in here. This one's gonna be more bronze. Let me eat this gizzard, this look. I'm not saving nothing for me to eat tonight. Mm. See, if I was at a campsite, I can continue to cook tonight. I got my jar and this is some vinegar just straight up vinegar with a wet wipe right here and I just want to wipe around my jar really well several times so that one is ready to put a lid on it but I'm gonna let these continue to cool off because I cooked my meat completely first and I'm gonna actually let these sit out on the cabinet all night long and then I'll proceed canning in the morning because I got a late start today and I'm canning at a park so I don't want to be closed in my hot van tonight sweating because it's not winter time in Texas. It is 91 degrees in the van right now. So I can't open my doors and sit out and finish doing this. So we're gonna proceed with this in the morning, but I am gonna let it cool off put my lids on it and then in the morning I can just put it in the pot and can finish canning. See I'm just wiping this off to get any excess oil, seasonings, and debris off of this lid, mouth, especially around the mouth of the jar. You wanna make sure that's real, real clean. And this is just straight up vinegar. continue to do that to each jar okay y'all now I'm doing this is unconventional canning I just took my lid and put it in some vinegar and I'm gonna put it on here I'm gonna finish canning these tomorrow so I'm kind of doing this untraditional fingers crossed that it turns out right so I'm taking my lid, putting it in some vinegar, straight up vinegar, submerging it. Taking it out, putting it on my jar. Sealing it. And tomorrow, I'll put them in my canner. So hopefully, tonight, this will be all right sitting overnight. I'm just taking a chance, y'all. I'm taking a chance. This is unconventional canning. Do not follow this 
at home. These are not proper procedures. <laughs> I know how to can properly, but I'm just improvising. <laughs> 